district celebration time. Good evening, students, staff, and MUSD families at home. I'm Superintendent Dr. Clark Burke, and it is my privilege to stand before you tonight alongside our Board of Education to welcome you to our virtual district celebration. This event allows the MUSD Board of Trustees to formally acknowledge the efforts of our staff, the excellence of our students, and the power of our community as we continue to unify in the best interests of all. Together with the board, we would like to personally thank every administrator, teacher, coach, and classified staff in the virtual audience. The accomplishments honored tonight begin in the classroom, in extracurricular activities, and on the field. These recognitions are a direct reflection of your mentorship and dedication in the lives of our students. The awards named during this event are significant honors in the areas of academics, arts, athletics, career technical education, and citizenship at the district, regional, or state level. In MUSD, these areas exemplify our district targets, grade level standards, safety, and emerging students. I'm beyond proud to be a part of the team celebrating our students and staff for their individual success and team achievements and to offer a heartfelt congratulations. To begin our virtual ceremony, I would like to welcome MUSD Board President, Mr. Eric Duncan. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As president of the Board of Trustees for Manteca Unified School District, it is our great pleasure to gather virtually to celebrate each honoree in their individual accomplishments. Joining me this evening to recognize our exceptional students, our fellow members of the board, Vice President Steven Schluer, Board Clerk Kathy Pogachel, and Trustees Melanie Green, Maricela Guerrero, and Marie Freitas. Additionally, we will hear a special shout out from Board Trustee Kathy Howe to celebrate student and staff success. We are also joined by our MUSD student board members who serve as representatives for each comprehensive high school and function as the voice of the student body. I would like to introduce Courtney Amaral, Arvine Birdie, Daisy Espinoza, Maceo Milano, and Felina Nim. I speak on behalf of our entire board when I say we truly look forward to honoring our students and staff in their achievements. Now, it is my pleasure to present East Union High School's JROTC cadets who will perform the presentation of colors, alongside East Union band members who will perform the Star Spangled Banner. Please enjoy the presentation.
you, East Union JROTC and band members, and welcome MUC families. I'm Arvin Brody, Student Board Chair and Representative for Sierra High School. Tonight, I, alongside my fellow student board members, have the great privilege of serving as a Master of Ceremonies. We are grateful for the support from Mantiki Unified School District Board of Trustees, alongside of district and site leadership for the dedication of students. We would particularly like to thank our superintendent, Dr. Clark Burke, deputy superintendent, Mr. Roger Gocher, chief business officer, Ms. Jackie Brighton Booker, executive director of elementary education, Ms. Jenny Andrews, and executive director of secondary education, Ms. Clara Schmid. Most of all, we would like to welcome all of you at home, especially our district honorees and their family members. We know that without the support of family, it would not be possible to accomplish the many things that we do. Each honoree celebrated tonight will receive a certificate of recognition signed by our superintendent and board president. These certificates will be distributed to honorees in the coming weeks. Now, please join me in welcoming board trustee, Marie Freitas. Hello, I'm Marie Freitas, and I am proud to serve as board trustee for Area 4. To commence our recognitions, we will honor our academics category, first recognizing advanced placement academic scholars. These are students who have earned the highest score on an advanced placement exam administered through College Board in the spring of 2021, despite the challenges placed before them. This exam is equivalent to a college level understanding of subject matter and is usually taken by juniors and seniors who have excelled in a high school AP course. When a qualifying score on a College Board AP exam is earned, this score grants the student college credits. While the average score is a three, tonight's honorees earned a five, which is the highest possible score and is earned by less than 10% of those who take the test. Students, your achievement is a direct reflection of the countless hours committed to your education. On behalf of your teachers and all of MUSD, congratulations. Good evening. My name is Macy Milano and I serve as a student board representative for Western Ranch High School. Tonight's AP award recipients are from East Union High School, Michael Macias, Calculus BC, Daniel No, Calculus BC and Calculus BC slash AP subset, Sean Marsh, Calculus BC, Calculus BC slash AP subset and United States government and politics, Mean Nguyen, Calculus BC slash AB subset, Leilani Valoria, United States Government and Politics, Carla Cardoza, Spanish Language and Culture, Rosembra Diaz, Spanish Language and Culture, Angela Estrada, Spanish Language and Culture, Cooper Freeman, Spanish Language and Culture, Camila Reyes, Spanish Language and Culture, Kevin Nguyen, Statistics, Danielle Strangel, United States History. From Lathrop High School, Lored Medina, Studio Art. Dave Velasco, Studio Art. Gabriel Caleb, Calculus BC. Derek Javita, Calculus BC. Ariza Tertuajea, Calculus BC. Kimberly Amon, English Literature. Francine Cannell, English Literature. Alan De La Garza, European History. Aaron Abasui, Psychology, Luis Matut, Spanish Language and Culture, Alejandra Vasquez, Spanish Language and Culture, Esteban Guzman, United States History, and from Manteca High School, Sage Weaver, 2D Art and Design, Shannon Lee, Calculus BC, English Literature and Composition, Statistics, and United States Government and Politics. Sean Milan, English Language and Composition, Christina Nguyen, Human Geography, Diego Acosta, Spanish Language and Culture, Brian Alvarez, Spanish Language and Culture, Ariadna Geronimo, Spanish Language and Culture, Erica Martinez, Spanish Language and Culture, Ian Mata, Spanish Language and Culture, and United States History, Jacqueline Suarez Munoz, Spanish Language and Culture, and from Sierra High School, Grace Berger, English Language and Composition, Julia Erdnab, English Language and Composition, Sean Caleb, English Literature, 
Brendan Olson, European History, Sermon Dosange, European History, Marissa Rush, European History, Kevin Liu for Macroeconomics, Jasker Singh, Macroeconomics, Josue Esparza, Spanish Language and Culture, Melissa Garcia, Spanish Language and Culture, Rachel Lockmer, Spanish Language and Culture, Emily Rodriguez, Spanish Language and Culture, Jocelyn Randon Garcia, Spanish Language and Culture, Morgan Bates, United States History, and from Wesson Ranch High School, Diego Zamora, Computer Science Principals, Leilani Dacus, European History, Kena Alupe, Research, Wendy Contreras, Spanish Language and Culture, Andreas Morales, Spanish Language and Culture, Sergio Munguia, Spanish Language and Culture, and Janet Navarro for Spanish Language and Culture. Congratulations to our Outstanding Advanced Placement Award honorees. Now please welcome Board Trustee Melanie Green. Hello, my name is Melanie Green and I am proud to be the Board Trustee for Area 3. For our next Academic Award category, we will be celebrating elementary students who have demonstrated outstanding habits of success as part of Manteca Unified's Social Emotional Learning Curriculum. The criteria for this category include students who have exhibited growth on campus and in the classroom, allowing them to better master grade level standards. These students have been recognized for producing work above grade level, coming prepared and remaining well organized and on task, completing independent work on time, respecting and collaborating well with others, using technology ethically and effectively, demonstrating technological skills beyond grade level, or persevering through unique challenges. Congratulations to the honored students and their families, teachers, administrative leadership, and support staff who have worked to model habits of success for growing young minds. Good evening, I'm Helena Nim, Student Board Representative for Leithrop High School. The following elementary school students have been nominated by their teachers and site administrative leadership for exhibiting habits of success. The students who have been submitted by their schools to be recognized for this honor are from August Knott Elementary, Alaya Landa Verde, Kindergarten, Ricardo Flores, First Grade, Samir Bargarthi, First Grade, Vicente Ruvacalba Torres, First Grade, Binar Saptang, Second Grade, Alondra Valencia, Third Grade, Gumark Verk, Third Grade, Kamaria Burnett, Fourth Grade, Sonia Aguayo, Fifth Grade, Janet Harris, 6th grade. Keith Aries Lobonog, 6th grade. Olive Her, 7th grade. Andrea Segura, 8th grade. From French Camp Elementary, Gabriel Contreras, kindergarten. Alejandro Camacho Espinoza, 2nd grade. Emiliano Perez, 3rd grade. Emma Riley Hill, 4th grade. Melanie Cabrera, 5th grade. Alondra Magdaleno Avila, 5th grade. Juan Lemus Garcia, sixth grade. Emmanuel Romero, sixth grade. From George Comore Elementary. Marilyn Gondera, first grade. Emiliano Rodriguez, second grade. Nimrit Dollywall, third grade. Mia Garcia, fourth grade. Samuel Estrada, fifth grade. Alexander Avina, sixth grade. Sana Amar, seventh grade. And Christine Ocampo, eighth grade. From Golden West Elementary, Matias Wilkerson, kindergarten. Autumn Harnden, first grade. Easton Barreras, second grade. Evelie Vera, third grade. Maya Martinez, fourth grade. Lila Diaz Murillo, fifth grade. Ariana Lupercio, sixth grade. Daniela Ramirez, seventh grade. And Jasmine Hidalgo, eighth grade. From Great Valley Elementary, Japjeet Carr, first grade. Maribel Anand, first grade. Alina Angelo, second grade. Ty Myrick, second grade. Christine Ose Wusu, fourth grade. Betsy Zamora Martinez, fifth grade. Alyssa Smith, fifth grade. Jeliah Melendez, fifth grade. Jacob Brooks, sixth grade. Brian Alas, seventh grade. Myla Smith, seventh grade. Wendy Velasquez Arajo, eighth grade. From Joseph Woodmer Elementary, Valentina Perez, first grade. Rhea Marie Capentine, second grade. Riley Yang, third grade. Mazareth Santillan, fourth grade. Brandon Gonzalez, fifth grade. 
Andre Reed, 6th grade, Alyssa Herrera, 7th grade, and Bradson Batista, 8th grade. From Joshua Cowell Elementary School, Braden Konsensky, 5th grade, Gabby Leon, 7th grade, Benjamin Diaz del Toro, 8th grade. From Lathrop Elementary, Kalia Gonzalez Bayo, kindergarten, Zainith Alvarez, 1st grade, Leonardo Ruvacalba, 2nd grade, Sofia Trujillo, 3rd grade, Kaylee Crows, 4th grade, Riley McCurdy, 5th grade, Jonathan Chavez, 6th grade, Tiana Gonzalez, 7th grade, and Stephanie Lopez, 8th grade. From Lincoln Elementary, Kian Abalo, Kindergarten, Jacqueline Martinez, 1st grade, Priscilla Alonzo, 2nd grade, Maxfield Coons, 3rd grade, Evelyn Suarez Alvarado, 4th grade, Nikita Ball, 5th grade, Francesca Balinguet, 6th grade, Kiana Crystal Everett, 7th grade, and Nathan Stone, 8th grade. From Mosdell Elementary, Vivin Prasad, Kindergarten, Jasnor Dillon, 1st grade, Maya Rashada, 2nd grade, Claudio Rivera, 3rd grade, Vanessa Gutierrez Zavala, 4th grade, Evangelina Quesada, 5th grade, Alexa Avina, 6th grade, Isabella Cordero, 7th grade, and Farheen Amadi, 8th grade. From New Haven Elementary, Valeria Monroy Ramirez, Kindergarten, Brielle Howe, 1st grade, Colton Preciado, 2nd grade, Maxwell Pine, 3rd grade, Delilah Quintero, 4th grade, Muscon Carr, 5th grade, Jose Torres, 6th grade, Seth Casey, 7th grade, Annette Dubois, 8th grade. From Nile Garden Elementary, Sartaj Jaswal, Kindergarten, Nayeli Casaneta, 1st grade, Kudra Bondal, 3rd grade, Kellen Sturm, 4th grade, Layla Bingham, 5th grade, and Nessia Thomas, 6th grade. From Online Academy, Gabriel Aguilar Passion, Kindergarten, Kenji Ibarra, 1st grade, Trishna Chatterjee, 2nd grade, Shivank Nandi, 3rd grade, Rudvi Patula, 4th grade, Skylar Clift, 4th grade, JC Sanders, 5th grade, Kaylee Edwards, 6th grade, Christian Roca, 6th grade, Edward McDonald III, 7th grade, Christian Mabaldi, 7th grade, Shreya Sharma, 8th grade. From Sequoia Elementary, Alexander Morales, Kindergarten, Adriel Sedano, 1st grade, Anthony Marlin, 2nd grade, Miguel Arroyo, 3rd grade, Brianna Espinoza, 4th grade, Fatima Robles Mejia, 5th grade, Ivan Gallegos, 6th grade, Serafina Ramos, 7th grade, and Oswaldo Suarez Munoz, 8th grade. From Stella Brockman Elementary, Carlos Cornejo, Kindergarten, Viviana Robles, 2nd grade, Viviana Cruz, 3rd grade, Mia Marie, 4th grade, Rihanna Omar, 5th grade, Ariel Perez, 7th grade, and Dante Vasquez, 8th grade. From Veritas Elementary, Sirhan Saini, Kindergarten, Simrit Hoti, 2nd grade, Abir Aragsin Mohammed, 3rd grade, Amelia Torres, 7th grade, and Amitish Mann, 8th grade. And from Walter Woodward Elementary, Harrison Catayano, Kindergarten, Lilydin Loretta, 1st grade, Kiara Almario, 2nd grade, Adele Wynn, 3rd grade, Elias Fosley, 4th grade, Noelle Smith, 5th grade, Katie Anderson, 6th grade, Adriana Rotero, 7th grade, and Elizabeth Bingham, 8th grade. Congratulations to all Habits of Success recipients. Good evening, 
I'm Kathy Pope Gottschall, board trustee for Area 5. Making MUSD very proud are these next students who have received various honors and awards in CTE, or Career Technical Education. CTE classrooms specialize in skilled trades, applied sciences, modern technology, and career preparation, and allow emerging students to achieve professional level standards for their chosen industry. Notable areas of CTE being honored this evening include Family, Career and Community Leaders of America, Future Farmers of America, and the Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps. Hello MUSD friends and family. My name is Courtney Amaral and I represent East Union High School as a student board member. FCCLA, an abbreviation for Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, is an in-school student organization that focuses on developing skills for life through character development, creative and critical thinking, interpersonal communication, practical knowledge, and career preparation. These in-school organizations make up chapters that compete at local, state, and national levels. There are over 180,000 members and more than 5,200 chapters among 48 participating states. From this year's CTSO state-level competition, several MUSD FCCLA honors were recognized for meeting industry-level standards and practices across a variety of career fields, including culinary arts, family development, and education and nutrition. The MUSD award recipients are from East Union High School. Daniel Peters received a gold medal in Baking and Pastry Star Event. Lizette Del Toro received a silver medal in Child Development Star Event. Justin Lazariga received a bronze medal for Culinary Display, decorated a wedding cake category. Kaylee Rhodes received a bronze medal in Child Development Star Event. Ruth Okanea received a bronze medal in Child Development Star Event. Emma Silva received a bronze medal in Child Development Star Event. Nicole Romo received a gold medal in the Culinary Arts Star Event. Austin Wilkerson received a bronze medal for Culinary Display Appetizers category. Maris Prada received a silver medal in Culinary Display Partisserie category. Kayla Kempner received a silver medal in Event Management Star Event. Alfonso Rodriguez received a bronze medal for Nutrition and Wellness Star Event. Eric Valencia Palacios received a bronze medal for Nutrition and Wellness Star Event. Alma Rosas received a silver medal in Repurpose and Redesign Star Event. Janaea Peer received a bronze medal in Salad Preparation Star Event. Nicholas Tilly received a bronze medal in Salad Preparation Star Event. Pamela Meha received a silver medal in Salad Preparation Star Event. Manteca Unified students were also recognized through FCCLA Golden State Degree Program. As FCCLA members participate in chapter, community, regional, and state activities, they can develop leadership skills and achieve an FCCLA Golden State Degree at all levels. These students include, from East Union High School, chapter degree recipient, Eric Valencia Palacios. From Sierra High School, chapter degree recipients, Dylan Burkett, Alexander Costanita, Ashley Coltler, Ella Esparza, Molly Fadif, Samantha Fornisi, Esmeralda Gomez, Marissa Gonzalez, Teresa Gonzalez, Taylor Greenwood, Arnav Kumar, Yoselin Leon Gonzalez, Jocelyn Lewis, Kayleen Linares Panita, Jose Lazoya, Gabriel Lujan, Marcio Martinez, Allison Perez, Celeste Randolph, Victor Cerna, Jimmy Tai, and Kendall Wesley. And regional degree recipient, Reina Valdez. The Red Rose Award is a first year member award granted by the FCCLA organization at the state level. This year's recipient include from East Union High School, Ruth Okanea, from Sierra High School, Samantha Fornesi, Esmeralda Gomez, Marissa Gonzalez, Teresa Gonzalez, Taylor Greenwood, Arnav Kumar, Kaylin Linares Panita, Gabriel Lujan, and Simra Thind. We would like to congratulate Sierra High School student Kaylee Monday, who completed this year as president of the Regional 6 chapter of FCCLA. Congratulations, Kaylee. 
In addition to these regional awards, nine MUSD students received national award recognitions for meeting industry-level standards and practices across a variety of career fields, including culinary arts, event planning, and nutrition. From Sierra High School, both Kaylee Monday and Raina Valdez received national bronze medals for completing this chapter review at the national level. Outstanding job, Kaylee and Raina. From East Union High School, seven FCCLA students received national awards. Lizette Del Toro for Chapter and Review Portfolio. Justin Lazarga for Chapter and Review Portfolio. Kaylee Rhodes for Chapter and Review Portfolio. Nicole Romo received a gold medal for Culinary Arts Star Event. Kaylee Kempner received a silver medal for Event Management Star Event. Alfonso Rodriguez received a bronze medal for Nutrition and Wellness Star Event. And Eric Valencia Palacios, who received a bronze medal for Nutrition and Wellness Star Event. Four MUSD FCCLA advisors were recognized at the state level for their exceptional efforts this year. Congratulations to Savannah Wegner, Amy Lee, Liz Ashenburner, and Valerie Flores on receiving Gold Level Outstanding Advisor Awards. To receive this honor, staff members are elected by students for their dedication and activity level within the FCCLA school community. As the top scoring advisor in FCCLA's Region 6, Savannah Wegner also received a Regional Star Advisor Award. Additionally, Ms. Wegner was also the recipient of the National Mentor Advisor Award from the FCCLA organization. We would like to congratulate Amy Lee for being selected as the recipient of the Dream Dare Do Award. This award is given by the Family and Consumer Science Teachers Association of California and distributed to advisors who do more, think big, and follow through. Also, we're thrilled to celebrate the recent retiree, Liz Ashenburner, who received the prestigious Master Advisor Award, a national recognition from the FCCLA organization. Incredible work, Ms. Ashenburner. Your impact in MUSD is evident and truly treasured. Congratulations to our FCCLA award winners. FFA, or Future Farmers of America, is an agricultural education program which first became part of the public education system in 1917. Today, in MUSD, over 1,600 emerging students are involved in agriculture career pathways and FFA programs to gain a professional level of understanding of the agricultural field and its industry practices. The state FFA degree is awarded to FFA members who have demonstrated the highest level of commitment to the California State FFA Association and made significant accomplishments in their supervised agricultural experiences. Approximately 1,800 state FFA degrees are handed out each year. That number represents approximately 3% of the California FFA Association membership, making it the state's highest honor. In Manteca Unified, three students have earned that degree. From East Union High School, Aiden Birchtold, Marissa Carranza, and Maris Prado. Outstanding job. At the San Joaquin County Ag Festival, four MUSD students received special recognitions. Serafina Hilberg for breeding the reserve champion market rabbit, Charlie Blake and Lee LaRue for the champion senior dairy heifer, Jasmine Rubio for the reserve champion market rabbit, Belle Beglinger for the reserve champion market turkey. We would also like to congratulate Alyssa DeBarros and Grace Lekangelgang on being elected to serve as Sentinel and Vice President for the Delta Valley Section of F California FFA. To serve as officers, Alyssa and Grace had to be voted in by delegates at each of the 12 high schools that make up the Delta Valley Section. We're so proud of you both. Congratulations to all of our FFA award recipients. We will now welcome Trustee Maricela Guerrero. Greetings, MUSD. My name is Marcella Guerrero, and I represent Area 7 as a board trustee. Each spring, Manteca Unified hosts a district art show that recognizes exceptional efforts from students who utilize a variety of mediums to achieve state standards in art. This year was no different, with eight students who took home awards for their remarkable pieces and expressive creations. Wonderful work, students. Additionally, we will honor two heroic students for citizenship as they acted to ensure 
Their fellow students were safe during an emergency on campus, reflecting MUSD's district target of putting safety at the forefront. This year's district art show winners are Sage Weaver, Mantika High School, Best of Show and Best of Category AP 2D Studio Art, Viviana Bellinger, East Union High School, Best of Category Introduction to Art, Victoria Rodriguez, East Union High School, Best of Category Advanced Art, Jasmine Romero, East Union High School, Best of Category Color and Design, Maya Rodamoza, East Union High School, Best of Category Advanced Ceramics. Thoracely Veniles Acoba, Lathrop High School, Best of Category Introduction to Digital Photography. Jaina Medina, Lathrop High School, Best of Category Advanced Digital Photography. Bernie Ramirez, Western Ranch High School, Best of Category Intro Video. We would also like to recognize two exceptional students for citizenship. During this yearbook distribution event at their school, Sierra High School students Eileen Montero and Layla Schuler courageously stepped in to assist with a medical emergency on campus. Thank you Eileen and Layla for modeling true bravery in a moment requiring swift thinking and actions. We're so proud of you both. Now let us welcome board trustee Stephen J. Schluer. Hello families. My name is Stephen Schluer. I'm the board trustee for Area 6 and Vice President of the School Board. The U.S. Army Junior Reserves Officers Training Corps, or better known as JRTC, is a high school program centered on the mission of motivating young people to be better citizens. It is one of the most tenured programs in our district, with high school students learning to develop leadership qualities, teamwork, character education, personal responsibility, and service to our great nation. Through JRTC, the cadets being honored tonight have developed skills which have proven not only to help them succeed in high school, but have also honed their career skills and will assist them as they embark on their individual college and or career pathways. Congratulations to the cadets being recognized this evening. Hello MUSD, my name is Daisy Espinoza and I serve as a student board member representing Manteca High School. Members of East Union High School's JROTC play second in two areas of an 11 school competition hosted by Weston Ranch High School. The cadets who were awarded second place for color guard are Gabrielle Meekum, Hilary Montero, Daniel Stengel, and Janessa Vigil. The cadets who play second for their Raider Fitness team are Jenna Hadian, Zachary Kitzberger, Paolo Lagbao, Naomi Nunez, Damanjot Singh, Tajinder Singh, Diana Soriano, and Juan Toscano. Finally, the East Union JROTC Academic Team competed in the 2021 U.S. Army JROTC Academic Bowl Championship in Washington, D.C. this past July. After advancing through two phases of competitions, this team was one of only 16 teams across the nation who advanced into the playoff. East Union's JROTC academic team finished the event as one of the top eight teams. Congratulations EU JROTC academic team members, Haley Gaylor, Daniel Stengel, Hilary Montero, and Courtney Amaral on this extraordinary achievement. Congratulations to all East Union JROTC cadets on your exemplary efforts. Tonight, we're also honoring several students for their commitment to themselves, their teams, and their schools for outstanding athletic achievements. This year, we are recognizing student athletes who played at least three sports while maintaining a 3.75 GPA or higher. Students, we applaud you for your dedication and excellence, both on the field and in the classroom. Congratulations. We are thrilled to announce the following athletic honorees. From East Union High School, Taylor Snare. From Lathrop High School, Jalissa Aguilar. Sam Reen Dot. Sydney Hanks. 
Godwina Ogbiaid, Wesley Reyes, Veronica Rodriguez, and Jesus Sanchez Benitez. From Manteca High School, Jerry Walser III, and from Sierra High School, Aaron Crawford, Jason Machado, Stephanie Perez, Marissa Rush, Rebecca Thompson, and Zachary Van Swallow Wenberg. We would also like to give a special shout out to Lathrop Pies, Ossia Mora, and Abigail Batista, and Jerry Walser III of Manteca High School. Osseo and Abigail were selected by their league as most valuable player of their respective sports, boys soccer and girls golf, while Jerry was selected as the Valley Oak League's outstanding male athlete at Manteca High. Wonderful job. Congratulations to all of our outstanding student athletes. Tonight, we are very excited to celebrate Mr. Andrew Lee, Vice Principal and Athletic Director of Sierra High School. Mr. Lee was recently honored as a SAC Joaquin Section recipient of the Norm McKenzie Award, an honor presented to an outstanding rookie athletic director who has served as an AD for one to four years. Mr. Lee was selected based on his commitment to students as he has dedicated himself to helping Sierra High attendees achieve both academic and athletic success. I do really um, look for opportunity um, more than anything. So um, anytime a student comes in, and you never know what's gonna happen, but a student's gonna come in and talk to me about something and I'll have a chance to make a positive impact and steer them in the right direction. Every day there's always gonna be an opportunity and that's what I look forward to each day. I like to thank my family, particularly my wife Stephanie for being real supportive of my job um, and my passion. It's a huge, uh, it's, it's a big part of my life and I know that trickles into my personal life as well. Um, she's been supportive. She's been incorporated into that. Um, I want to thank the admin team as well because you have to surround yourself with good people um, and they help uh, hold me to a high standard and help me be at my best, but in a supportive way. We're family here uh, with the staff, with the leadership team, um, and I couldn't ask for a better place to work. Now let's enjoy a special video shout out from board trustee Kathy Howe. Hi, I'm Kathy Howe, board trustee for Area 2. I would like to send a huge congratulations to tonight's honorees. Your hard work and dedication make MUSD proud. Keep it up. Good evening, proud to be MUSD community. I'm Roger Gocher, the Deputy Superintendent of Manteca Unified School District. As we conclude our ceremonies this evening, on behalf of myself, Superintendent Dr. Clark Burt, and the MUSD Board of Trustees. We would like not only to congratulate, but express how proud we are of each and every honoree recognized in the district celebration tonight. When faced with a unique year, you have continued to push through. You showed up, worked hard, and earned your individual success. You have demonstrated what it means to adapt, to overcome, and to achieve, and your ability to do so inspires us all. We thank you for your continuing to make us proud to be MUSD. Thank you to our student board, educators, and staff, and families at home who are at the root of student achievement. We are deeply grateful for everyone tuning in to support our students and hope you enjoyed falling for student achievement as much as we did.